morning already. I thought I just went to bed. Let me get ready and meet my duckies. They must be waiting for me to teach them something new. Hey duckies! I'm here. Come along. Good morning, Mr. Hopster. Good morning, duckies. What are we going to learn today? You'll see soon. First, let me ask you a question. Do you know that the sun is so much bigger than the earth we live in? Really? Are you sure? I can see the sun and it doesn't look that big. Ha ha ha! I am sure of that. You can fit more than a million earths inside the sun. But the sun is also so, so far away. That's why it looks so small. Oh, I didn't know that. The sun is so hot too. It's a ball of fire. Oh, I'm scared of fire. I'm really glad that the sun is so far away. Yes, sun is so hot. But every living being needs the sun. Really? But why? Without the sun's heat and light, the earth will be lifeless and covered with ice. All plants need the sun to make their food and all animals depend on the plants to live. Okay, I see now. The earth rotates on its own axis. What's an axis? The axis is an imaginary line that goes through the middle of the earth. It helps us understand how the earth spins. Ah, I see. Do you know why we see the sun only during the day and not during the night? I have no idea. Anyone else? Does it have anything to do with the rotation of the earth? Bingo! That's exactly right. The earth's rotation causes night and day. Really? We didn't know that. I'm going to show you how that happens. Let's say this is the sun. And this is the earth. This is how the earth spins or rotates. Wow! That's nice. The earth looks tilted though. Awesome! That's a good catch. Yes, the earth's axis is tilted by 23 and a half degrees. Now, when the earth rotates, at any time, only some parts of the earth will face the sun. So only this part of the earth's surface will receive the sunlight. Yes, we see that. The part of the earth that faces the sun experiences day. Wow, let me guess. The part that is on the other side experiences night. Exactly. You are so right. Thank you, Mr. Hopster. Let's check it out. Keep your eyes focused on the side which receives the sunlight. Sure. Did you see that? Now, the Earth's surface which received the sun's rays is on the other side. So, they don't receive them anymore. And it's night over there. That's great. Can we see it again? Absolutely. I have a cute little teddy bear here. I'm going to stick the teddy to the earth and show what the teddy will go through. Yay, that's great! Okay, now the teddy sees the sun and it feels like the sun is rising. This is around 6 o'clock in the morning for the teddy. Well, this is around noon. The sun is brightest at this point because it's more direct to the teddy. Well, the teddy must feel the sun setting in the evening. Now, the teddy experiences night and it's probably midnight. Okay, it's sunrise. It's the next day. Did you all like this? Oh, we loved it. We now know how we feel night and day. The time it takes the earth to complete one full rotation is 24 hours. That's a full day. In a short time, we'll start seeing the sun set for us and soon night will follow. Exactly. When it's night for us, it must be day for somebody else. Really? Yes, if I stick the second teddy on the darker side, you will see the second teddy feels night and day at a different time. Let me do that. Now, it's about noon for the teddy, but the second one is experiencing night. Wow, that's so true. When it's day for us, the people who live on the other side of the earth will have night. And when it's night for us, the people who live on earth's other side will have day. We got that, Mr. Hopster. Good. I hope you learned the concept of night and day now. Yes, we did, Mr. Hopster. See you soon.
Bye, duckies. Let's recall. Hi, this is Raya. Welcome, everyone. We saw Mr. Hopster and the ducklings learn about how Earth experiences days and nights. We'll see if you can recall what time it is based on the Earth's location to the sun. Look at the three boxes below. Can you tell what is the likely time for the teddy stuck on the Earth? Is it 6 a.m. in the morning? Or is it 6 p.m. in the evening? Or is it midday, around noon? Yes, it's around noon for the teddy. Let's take a look. Well, this is around noon. The sun is brightest at this point because it's more direct to the teddy. Let's see another one. Can you tell what is the likely time for the teddy stuck on the earth? Take a look at the three boxes below. Can you tell which one it is? Is it 6 p.m. in the evening? Or is it midnight? Or is it midday around noon? Yes, it's midnight for the teddy. Let's take a look. Now the teddy experiences night and it's probably midnight. That's all folks, have a nice day.